Hi everybody, so welcome for the third part of my series of videos about subfoiling, doing some paddle up flat water starts. So in this third uh, part, I'm going to give you some, some tips on how to get started in three steps, three important steps that I think it's, it's helping a lot when you, when you want to get started. So what I'm using, uh, this is this inflatable Cruzador hip, six feet, six inches, the mast HM 79 centimeters. I'm going to use the Cirrus XL 160 uh, 36 centimeter spring span for a surface of uh, 1700 square centimeters and the stab this is the veloce hatch so 40 47 centimeter spring span I sink the board and I jump to be as light as possible So doing this, sinking the board like, like this, the board will want to, to go up. And because of the effect, so we will get some, some volume into the water and the reaction, the board we will want to, to, um, to go up. When the board is, going, is coming up, then I will bring my legs upwards to let the board going as up uh, as, as it can. And then I'm going to push again above the mast to sink the board and to, you have to do this this behavior so at the beginning you have to start slowly uh, to make the board going moving forward and then when you have some inertia momentum then you can do it you can do it harder and faster do it harder and faster like this Because a lot of strength, a lot of force, when you want to take off, is coming from your legs. Most of it, actually. So doing this exercise, this is very important to be able to move forward just jumping, so pumping like this, when the board is still on the water. Then you can, you can try to, uh, to find the right foot position, feet position. So as I said, shoulder width for me and my back foot is above the mast, maybe a bit more in front. If I move my back foot much more, a, a bit forward like this, I keep the shoulder width and then I'm trying to, to pump, it's not going to work huh? or it's not going to work very, very well. So here I will not be able to take off. I do not have a, a good feeling. And the same, if I put my, uh, my front foot too much backwards like this, and I want to try to jump, I will think the, 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 the back of my, uh, of my board, but I'm not going to be able to move, to move forward. So doing this exercise, and learning how to learning how to move forward just jumping on the board so sinking the board and when the board wants to go up to bring your legs upwards to let it go doing this this exercise it's going to be very useful for the takeoff because most of the force most of the the force that you need to take off is coming from your legs So the second exercise, the second step, this is to learn the, the way to do some efficient uh, strokes. It has to be ahead of you. So you should keep your shoulders always ahead of you. The strokes, they are going to be dynamic, quick and short. So you go, you try to go as far as you can 
and then the stroke is going to be up to your the toes of your front foot what you don't want to do this is to go too much backward with your stroke because you are going to um, to have a bad momentum and bringing your shoulders backwards like this it's going to be inefficient to bring your weight forward and to to um, to get some momentum forward to take off so all what you need this is to move always with your body forward so do not do not go with your shoulders backwards and with the paddle uh, behind you like this so dynamic short and fast strokes so it's gonna be like this like this so without trying to to take off you can you can learn how to stroke like this always keeping your shoulders ahead of you in front of you like this and you will see that this is very efficient to move forward like this so this is what you want don't make don't the strokes they do not need to be big long like this moving and going backwards with your shoulder this is going to be inefficient and the third step this is to be able to to do both together so efficient strokes ahead of you and pushing on the board so pumping starting pumping on the board pushing hard on the board above the mast and then going as light as you can when the board wants to go up the synchronization between the work that you are doing with your your legs and the work you are doing with your paddle so with your arms the synchronization between the two of them this is very important to be able to take off and you want to work with your upper and lower body at the same time so when you stroke when you press with your paddle um, on the water you want at the same time to push hard on your board when you you are in the recovery phase and you you put your uh, you bring your paddle ahead of you again you want to be as light as possible so you bring the board is going to push you up and you brings your uh, you, you bring your legs upward to let the board going up so this is the phase where you you climb so you want to be as light as possible and then again with both your your arms you are going to um, to press on the water and you are going to push at the same time very hard on your legs to sink the board as as much as you can and this is has to be so this behavior it has to be so you start slowly uh, to get some uh, some spin and then you have to you want to accelerate to make it quicker and quicker faster and faster until you you take off so let's try to to take off together with the camera like this so this is not so not so easy it's disturbing a little bit but let's have a look if uh, it's uh, it works so I have a right feeling, so right foot position, stance shoulder weight. I'm going to start slowly and then to accelerate until I take off. So the camera is on. Okay. So let's have a look. So I start slowly. I'm pushing on my legs. Accelerate. Hey. Hey. Let's. 
Donc l'île de Paddle, on y mort. And then this is like pumping a small board. So I hope you had a good time watching this video, that it was uh, helpful for you to get started as well. So doing some paddle up flat water starts, this is amazing. This is a bit different than pumping. Pump, pump foining, this is um, as well amazing, but to change a little bit of, uh, of activity, uh, pumping for a couple of minutes with uh, this kind of, uh, of board, uh, doing some sub, sub foil flat water start, this is a lot of fun as well. So you do not need a beach, a dock to get started. So this is um, total freedom as well. And to learn how to downwind uh, in sub, sub foil, this is, this is fine as well. So this is a very good training. So I hope you had a good time watching this video and see you next week for a new one on Monday. See you.